Okay, so this is an enormous battery, and this uses sodium and sulfur. Again, a very vigorous reaction that releases a lot of energy. Now, I can demonstrate this not to give electrical energy. That's done in a very controlled fashion, but just by mixing the, uh, the metal and some sulfur. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to use the liquid metal that we made at the beginning of the lecture. This is the mixture of sodium and potassium. This is the alloy that we have in the tube here. So again, we're just going to open this under argon. OK, now I have a tube full of liquid metal. I'm going to add this to the sulphur in the tank here. OK, so far, so good. Whew. All right. And then just uh, give it a bit of a mix. Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh. So, of course, the battery doesn't do that, <laughs> but nonetheless, there's a lot of energy there to be released. It has a very, very high energy density, and it's incredibly efficient.